Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzz, well, the org being a music journalism site, links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's by Yo Maze, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and that's Lonely. I'm going to refer to the original articles I usually do for these videos, so I hope you enjoy. Now, I've never really followed too much of Yo Maze's material, but I've just seen this track pop up in my feed, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. So should we see what I thought of it? Well, I actually thought this track was pretty good, and it gave me some vibes very similar to the first time I listened to a Quillo. What the track does well is setting up a likeable atmosphere as well as incorporating some more complex electronic elements. What the track suffers from is a lack of dynamism and power, really drifting towards the end and kind of puttering out rather than leaving in a blaze of glory. I mean sure I'm not a big fan of loud anthemic and bolstered voices and instrumentals but I felt this track was just missing a little gusto and drive to it. Production wise the song is pretty solid but I did feel that the reverb was perhaps overused. Now I know that's rich coming from someone who considers as himself an ambient producer but I just felt that this lacked a section that could have been a little more conjunct and a little more direct. It just needed one section like this but I felt everything was just sort of up in the air and a bit too spacious. The vocals kept their diction well though and glisten above the mix. The drums sound excellent with a deep kick thudding away the sporadic pulse and I thought the stereo field was covered in different tones and timbres that were nice to listen to. Overall I thought the production was pretty good but there are some improvements I'd like to see in the future which is never a bad thing. When it comes to the musicality of this track I like the way it flowed from section to section with a lot of rhythmic and pulsating changes which happened alongside. I thought the vocal performance was solid and I felt the track possessed a unique character and it came across as very original. I mean there are some beautiful moments here where the instrumentation and vocals combine to create this thick harmonic wall that carries a glorious texture and a vibrant texture at that. But I thought the track really blew it towards the end after that progressive bridge. It sort of just repeated itself unnecessarily and never really came to a climactic finish, which is what I thought it was building for. It was just lacking that power and grit you need to finish off a track like this. It felt like it started the same way it finished and nothing really grew or progressed or developed. Again, this is all tweaking type stuff and things you can improve on in the future, so I'm not too fussed about the mistakes that have been made here. Lyrically, I thought the track was actually pretty good, and I never found a line boring or cheesy or forgettable or anything like that. And I think it comes down to how well it fits around the mix, and it turns out it fit pretty well. So all in all, a solid track from an artist who has suddenly sprung onto my radar. I wonder how 2017 will be for them. I'd like to hear what they do in the future. So I gave it a G rating of 6 out of 10, which is again another above average review. It's like 3 or 4 in a row now, which is kind of surprising. We're having a good tail end to January. A January which has been a surprise surprisingly amazing. So if you like this video then please leave a like, subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.